God. My... Sounds like someone's having a terrible life. Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I would never anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. My two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get- Oh god. My feet are killing me. So thanks. Right is right. Right is right. You will take your joy in it. Sally Boyle! Eddie McMillan's looking for you. Uh, you wouldn't tell me what it was, but you seem pretty... Well, pretty distressed. Even for Eddie. Alright, thanks. Maybe I should get down to the pub and see what he's worried about. Well, look at you! Right out.
he's got something wonderful for you. That actually is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. All right. I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Clear up soon, I imagine. Fancy a cuppa? Lovely day for it. All right. Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong, I was only dancing. I was watching from the stairs. James. You're everyone that ever cared. Oh, sweet Jesus, you have a way with words. She turned me on, but I was only dancing. Won't you dance with me? Please. Damn it. All right. There, James, Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Oh, Sally, what are you doing here? Roger, Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James, it's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James, she said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck. She's right upstairs. Roger! Hey! You won't get away. Someone there? You won't get away with this. Well, did you hear? Bulky Jack got another one last night. Best stay in. Lovely weather. You're looking nice and trim. They locked up Dr. Faraday. Why? Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. 
Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. It disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but... The make believes The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song? That's my favourite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? I've had sneezes more complicated than a boat motor. I thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. <laughs> I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Why the hell did I leave it there? Now I remember. They wanted to carry me around in that car like I was some sort of conquering hero. I just wanted to get down on the ground. Clean forgot there was anything in that goddamn suitcase. been beaten by a girl. And here's Nick's keycard. 
Why do they make dresses with pockets, for Christ's sakes? This easy test. Are you having a Make me come find you. Did you hear that? What's going on? Funky as ever. I'm not surprised the May quit. Probably down in his secret lair. How do we get down there? He had some sort of secret button, didn't he? Annoyed, aren't we? What's he been taking? I can't. 
can't believe someone actually likes this record. Aside from Nick, of course. in a bucket. Whoa, look, lads. It's our lucky day. We don't need to go through this again, do we? Don't you remember what happened last time? I have a very poor memory. Almost as bad as my impulse control. Fact remains, you have been selling unapproved pharmaceuticals in Bobby Catesby's domain, and you ain't paid for that privilege. All right. Let's dance. Got my eye on you. Right this way. Right this way. I thought you might like this. Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic! I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're steering it. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass! Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. 
I've got a boat motor and a boat manual. Now all I need is the general's bloody key. He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? <sighs> I miss my calling. I should have been a secret agent. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. Christ almighty. He's set for the apocalypse, isn't he?
There are some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. in a bucket. No. Uh, no. No. Uh. When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year, vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. 